wish you a very good evening uh, we warmly welcome you to the second webinar of the webinar series organized by the students of a fair division and also along with the aura media of faculty of medicine university of kalania so our topic today is uh, are you trapped in med school so we hope uh, most of the audience uh, are medical students so uh, some might have had a dream from the childhood to be a doctor or some might have done uh, medicine uh, from uh, due to the peer pressure and also due to the pressure of the parents or some might uh, have uh, accidentally selected to the medical faculty also uh, in the medical faculty some students uh, may engage in extracurricular activities uh, like sports and some may not engage in extracurricular activities and they are fully focusing on their academics so uh, a wide variety can be seen among the medical students so if i ask you a question are you trapped in med school so take few minutes and think about it uh, will definitely uh, many of the students they might have a uh, uh, unique different answers for that question so first of all uh, we are going to start the session so i hope uh, you all know our guest speaker today hope uh, all of you have seen the flyer so uh, our guest speaker is uh, he's uh, a medical graduate from uh, university of uh, colombo and uh, he is akila nilavira we welcome you all uh, we, we 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 welcome you uh, on behalf of the medical faculty uh, faculty of medicine university of kalani good evening good evening uh, am i clearly heard ah yes uh, we can uh, hear hear you properly there's a small distortion i guess uh, hello yes uh, we can hear you properly hello hello nilpur uh, am i clearly heard ah yes yes now uh, i can hear you properly yes okay uh, first of all uh, this is like a, a casual discussion uh, not a formal not a very formal discussion so uh, most of people uh, who have seen this flyer they have asked uh, whether we are doing this in singular in or in singular or english so we hope to conduct this session uh, in singular as well as in english so uh, we hope to ask some questions in singular also so uh, first of all let's identify who uh, akila nilavira is so as uh, i mentioned earlier he is a he is a graduate from uh, faculty of medicine university of colombo and uh, first of all we congratulate him for being the island 39 uh, in the merit list uh, of final mbbs Uh, so we Thank congratulate you, you uh, wish you a bright future and uh, uh, we would like to know uh, what was your journey towards the medical school uh, about your family background and how you entered how you selected to the medical faculty uh, so i guess uh, this bad connection is not interrupting the session no now it's clear yeah yeah okay Uh, so uh, I'm originally from the most southern part of the country, from Devinura, and uh, I'm a I'm a third child of uh, four uh, children in in my family. And my father was an army officer, and my mother was a sports officer. Uh, and I went to school in Mathura Saint Servius College uh, from grade one to grade thirteen, and then from A levels, I got selected into uh, Faculty of Medicine, University of Colombo. Uh, I was ranked Island Forty Ninth uh, at A levels, and then to the Med School, Colombo. Uh, Nilupal, I think you are muted. Or... Sorry. Uh, so, uh, I uh, were you interested in in medicine from the childhood? or did you have a dream or something yeah uh it's uh it's kind of uh, not a solid answer that i have i can give because uh when i was a child i it wasn't a solid dream of becoming a doctor i had like a 
several dreams. I had a variety of dreams to become a doctor, to become an engineer, to become a mathematician, to become a dancer, to become an actor, everything. But uh, with time evolves and our choices get a uh, little bit narrowed. And then that, my parents also wanted me to perceive in biology, bi bioscience stream, and then subsequently into the med school. So there was this parental part playing in me to pursue med school. Yeah, okay. Uh, we heard that uh, you became the island 39th in the merit list. So uh, we'd like to know about uh, your academic achievements uh, during the medical faculty. Uh, so uh, I did my A levels in 2014. I entered the med faculty in 2015 at the end of the year and then just graduate, uh, just finished my bachelor's. Uh, so in Colombo, we have uh, our medical curriculum is uh, divided into five streams, basic sciences, applied sciences, community medicine, behavioral and clinical sciences. So we get classes for each stream separately. I had first classes for behavioral sciences and community medicine and second uppers for basic applied and clinicals. Uh, so for the final MBBS, I had second upper, uh, and so the merit just, uh, it was released yesterday and it, I was ranked 39th, which was, uh, I, I wasn't actually expecting that much of a rank, uh, but I'm really happy about it. Yeah. We're really happy, uh, happy about you. And, uh, uh, that's about his academic, uh, performance, I think so, uh, when we are finding, when we were finding a personality for our discussion, the second uh, webinar. So uh, we, uh, when we discovered Akila Nilavira as a uh, personality for this discussion, so uh, we could uh, see uh, some uh, extracurricular activities and also activities uh, regarding sports and also dancing and several extracurricular activities. So what did you do as extracurricular activities during your uh, mid school? Uh, that's basically everything that anything that I get into, I would have tried. I have tried, uh, like from school days, I was an athlete. I was an athlete who represented Sri Lanka for the junior Asian athletics championship. And I continued that, uh, athletic career. And also, I try whatever the thing that comes up in med school or in the city. Uh, I try I dancing, I try acting, I try announcing. So it's basically everything. Uh, if you, I mean, you may ask, I can. <laughs> Yeah. Give a yeah. List of yeah. What, what are the yeah in every aspect? What were these special achievements like? Uh, when uh, when I was going through your uh, CV, actually, I saw many achievements uh, regarding uh, sports and uh, aesthetics, and also uh, you have done uh, many researches. So uh, let's speak about a uh, few of your achievements. Uh, well, so if you're asking for like few highlights from my extracurricular activities, I would say I can uh, pick few. Uh, one being the one being representing Sri Lanka for the World University Games in 2017. Uh, I I got selected in three uh, events in track and fields, so it was uh, like a unique chance that a university athlete get uh, when we. When I, if I pick something from aesthetics, uh, I was given the leading character for a ballet opera, which was the first ever ballet opera produced by a state university in Sri Lanka, which was Ravana, the legend untold. Uh, and if you asking about uh, any uh, any highlight regarding research or academic work, uh, I could uh, present my undergraduate research findings. Uh, at an international conference in France. Uh, it was the International Olympic Committee World Conference on Sports Medicine. So likewise, I can pick few uh, or oh, several items in each category. 
yeah yeah the, yeah it's very impressive and uh, so you have done sports you have done uh, researches and you have done uh, dancing and also you have participated conferences yeah, you have uh, you have a uh, i heard that you have a record uh, the uh, sri lanka university games 110 meter uh, record is uh, that's your record so uh, you have done many things so our topic today is are you trapped in med school so this uh, trapping in a med school so we can uh, see about this see see about this trapping in different aspects so according to you uh, how do you see this trapping in a med school uh, what is your opinion regarding uh, regarding trapping in med school in your med school means something that follow a set of uh, and you have the responsibility of fulfilling your career as a med excuse uh, me medical uh, student. I, uh, we couldn't hear you in the beginning so can you repeat it please uh, sure. uh, yeah. now you can right yeah yeah so uh, when someone is enrolled into a med school there's already there's a, a set of boundaries that have been laid that a med school a med student has to do this of course we all have to be the medical student that who follows the medical curriculum and to get uh, and to get knowledge and skills and everything that a, a competent doctor has but uh to which level that we are going to trap inside the medical curriculum or the medical course will depend on you it's you who can define the boundaries of this trap like we all are trapped to a certain uh, certain level but uh, we should not limit our boundaries that has been already uh, set so i feel like Uh, med students in sri lanka it's quite following the boundaries that has been set not really their potential we uh, these boundaries we can define we can expand we can explore so to which level that we are going to be trapped inside this medical curriculum or to which level that we are going to expand or explore Uh, will actually define your career within the university so uh, it's up to you it's up to me to explore and see to which level that we can go yes obviously so um, how do you see a typical medical student like uh, if uh, as a general opinion so what can you say about a typical medical student so how do you see uh okay uh, first of all no offense i'm just uh, yeah. telling uh, what that we see as medical students maybe it's quite different from university university but uh, you know a typical med student i mean any med student has to study that there's no doubt that they have to study and work hard there are a lot of work that you have to do a lot of uh, deadlines you have to follow like you have to meet you have thousands of exams so a typical med student will always be conscious about the exams the lesson the topic the pages that you are reading so the majority the main portion of your brain and your day and in everywhere it will be academics about the studies and very little amount will be given to the other activities extracurricular or maybe to your personal health to your family to your friends so that aspect is quite limited because we are focusing more on academics on clinicals on lectures so so i mean the overall thing is a constant 
And anyway, we all know each aspect that we can compromise and negotiate. But for, for a typical med student, it's academics, lectures, clinicals, number of patients, number of pages. Yeah, uh, I think, yeah, yeah. From Akilaya's, uh, that uh, idea. So I got, what I got is, uh, as one point, uh, medical students, they, they are trapped in academics. And also if someone is engaging in extracurricular activities, but they are not uh, expanding them to, their, uh, to the maximum, but if they are engaging in some uh, extracurricular activity inside the faculty, as an example, if uh, someone is uh, doing a sport uh, and uh, engaging, uh, as an example, like, let's take basketball, a uh, student is playing basketball, and uh, can that student be trapped in the mid school? I hope you got it. Uh, yes, Liverpool. Yeah. And uh, the is yes, because I mean, there are students, there are med students who are engaging in extracurricular activities, sports, aesthetics, organizing, uh, societies, and every, everywhere. There are people who doesn't do anything, but there are people who are engaged in many activities. But again, when we consider them, they are again uh, kind of trapped to a certain level because uh, maybe some are just doing whatever the activity only within the faculty, only within the university. But if you really explore your potential, that person might be a that that person might have potential to become an extraordinary character in that field. That person could have reached the international level or even higher. There are many opportunities, there are many fields that a med student can explore, but they simply don't do because they think their life has to be trapped inside medicine or the med faculty. So even though you are engaged in extracurricular activities, I think still there are people, they consider themselves at a lower level than the actual potential. So again, that's again, that's also kind of track. Yeah, as Akila mentioned, if someone, someone, someone is uh, doing painting or something uh, from uh, the childhood, like from school, uh, if he's engaging in painting. So after entering the medical faculty, due to the academic workload, if that person is not doing that activity further, like not improving his skills uh, at the university level, so that, that is also kind of a trapping inside the medical faculty. So if he's not expanding his skills, if he's not expanding his capabilities, so that is also a kind of trapping. So that's what we wanted to uh, highlight in this uh, instant. So uh, in your medical school life, so were you trapped in, trapped in your medical school? What about you? Uh, so at some point, yeah, I had to accept that I had to limit myself in certain aspects at some points, not all the time, but I tried my best to expand and to define my boundaries at a uh, very higher level. I tried my best. So like basically because there are a lot of challenges when you want to expand your boundaries, especially within a med school. So we can discuss those challenges. I think that will be helpful for the others too, to explore their fields, to explore their passions. So some points uh, we have to prioritize, right? Like if, if I, I want to, if I'm passionate about sports and I have a very, and I'm very competitive uh, in my sport and I have a competition next week, at the same time, I have, an, I have a main exam on the same day. So at such instances, I have to opt. I have to choose exam over uh, my, uh, the competition because that's what you had to do. So there are some points that instances that we have to make difficult, not really difficult because we came to med school to become doctors. So. Yeah. So uh, some, what were the challenge? Yeah. Points. Yeah. We have was also, uh, but I tried my, I tried my best to go. Uh, yeah. 
Ah, yes. Uh, what were you mentioned that you had challenges during your medical school? So, uh, and you try to manage those challenges. So, what were the challenges you had during your medical school? Uh, so, uh, there are actually several challenges. The one uh, few I will we'll discuss few. One thing would be the the workload in the med school. It's it's quite challenging itself the workload that you have to finish it, you have to uh, get hold of most of it so you can get the skills and competence to become a doctor. So there's a huge workload. Uh, and the other thing is the the time the time constraint because everyone has only twenty four hours a day. But when we engage in other activities uh, like med school, sometimes this actually the the clinical part. It's not really fixed, right? Sometimes you have to go in the early morning. Sometimes you have to go in the night. You have to stay overnight. Uh, and there are ward classes uh, here and there. It's not really fixed. So there has to be a lot of compromising with your own day, with your academic work. So the time constraint was very challenging when balancing all the other extracurricular activities. So that's another one. And the other thing is uh, the the community, the university community within our university community. It's not just our lecturers and our friends. There there are more than that uh, because we are going to the hospital, especially we patients meet consultants, we meet nurses, and all the hospital staff. So there there are different kind of people that we have to deal with. So our day we are meeting several kind of people. Uh, even if it is only about medical curriculum, if you are engaging in extracurricular activities, then that that the variety increases. If you are going to sports, you have a separate another community in the uh, in the ground, the physical education. So we had to deal with everyone without uh, getting hampered or messed up in our day's work. So these are so so there are several. Uh, challenges like that uh, so you do you want like to discuss it further or yeah uh, so how again you mentioned about you mentioned about your challenges uh, as time management that was a challenge for you and workload management with the heavy workload uh, we should try to manage that and also uh, interaction with the community so that was a challenge for you so how how did you overcome these challenges while you are doing you 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 were doing uh, sports you were doing dancing and you were doing uh, researches so with all those work so how how did you uh, manage those challenges and how how did you face those challenges uh, so if we take this the time constraint like the the complaint that many students have is that they don't have time for extracurricular activities they have this work, this much of workload so they don't have time for anything else not everyone but some may be complaining uh, the thing is yeah it's it's quite challenging to manage time to balance time but if you can identify what are your goals and what are your priorities like you, you can't do everything i ac uh, i accept that but uh, if you can prioritize your day your time and plan ahead then it's not really challenging because even though we say we don't have time most of the time we have been just wasting hours and hours maybe just talking maybe just scrolling through social media or somewhere uh, or just just wandering here and there doing nothing so if we can quantify if we can uh, objectively measure how much of time that we are wasting then you will get an idea that you actually have time it's not that you don't have time it's just you are not planning or prioritize your work if you can get that insight about your day then i think you will actually find time and the other thing is your passion if you are passionate about a thing if you are really interested you will find time you will find the way so when we prioritize my academics extracurricular maybe sports dancing or announcing or whatever then i can allocate the time duration for each aspect according to the priority 
So for academics, anyway, eight to twelve hospital, one to four if lectures, if any. But these times they are not really constant; they can be changed. So we should be able to to adjust accordingly uh, the way according to the way that it comes. We can we should be able to change our plan. So we can plan our day, we can plan our week, we can plan our month even. But it's true that it can be changed. So we should be flexible to negotiate with everything to change our plan. So prioritization, prioritizing my goals over anything else can give you time actually. So the time management part was dealt like that. So when I have the responsibility of managing my team, the track and field team as the captain, I have to give more time for my team. And when I'm having a competition in a month's time, I have to give more time for my training. When I have exam in two weeks' time, I have to give more time for my study. So that way, if you can actually quantify your day, you can actually see, I mean, just try and see two, two three days, just write uh, from morning to night what you are doing at each hour. And then you will see how much of time that you have been wasting. Even, I mean, even myself was wasting a lot of time, even after structuring and everything. But we, could, we can optimize and uh, utilize it more. So that was one. And the other thing is the workload. It's true. The medical curriculum is hard. It's uh, thousands of facts and concepts it's hard but you can take one thing at a time you can consider only one thing that you are studying at the moment the only one thing that you are being taught at the moment so you can consider that you have to focus and concentrate yourself for the time for that moment the thing with the thing that you are being taught or learning or whatever the achieving skill so like it's like living in the moment with conscious. So whatever you are doing at the moment, if it, it has to be productive, and then if you are living with that productivity, then that workload is quite like a like full, uh, like completed with no time. But again, during exams, it's quite kind of different because uh, becoming a doctor, becoming a competent doctor is not really passing exams. It's two different things. So you have to learn how to pass the exams. It's another art. How to pass the exam is another topic. So like you have to ready, you have to pre be prepared for the exam. That's a different topic. And becoming a competent doctor is another one. So for the exams, you have to, uh, you have to study questions, actually. You have to study questions. You have to study answers. You have to follow through the past paper so you can get an idea about what comes next in our year. So you have to use that tricks. You have to study smart. So for the exams, you have to study smart. Uh, but for the career, you can gain all the skills and competence uh, by living the moment and prioritizing your work and try to prioritize more productive work for the moment than over the other non-productive use the stuff. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think uh, uh, in the beginning, we mentioned uh, that uh, we are asking questions in Singhal also, since we have a uh, Singhal and English uh, crowd. So uh, I'll ask this question in Singhal. I asked उदाहरण हेल्थी <laughs> 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 
some some part of the us it's very unhealthy the routine that i have followed ek uh, but we can reflect it on re- reflect on it etukota dan mata matak wenawa me ek samara dawas tibba man ude ground ekata yanawa pahamara vitara weddi 5 5:30 5:30 ude ground ekata yanawa practice as well ita passe 7:30 ground hen yanawa 8 wedi hospital ekata yanna clinicals ita passe 12 wena kan clinicals ek indan 3 wena kan hari 4 wena kan hari lectures ඊට පස්සේ හවස 5 ඉඳන් රෑ 10 විතර වෙනකම් බැලේ එකේ ප්‍රැක්ටිසස්. ඒ කියන්නේ බැලේ එක ලං වෙලා බැලේ එක ඒ කියන්නේ ප්‍රොඩක්ෂන් එක මේ ස්ටේජ් කරන්න ලං වෙච්ච දවස. එතකොට ඒක නොකර බැහැ ෆයිනල් රිහර්සල්ස් යනකොට we have to go there. එතකොට නේ සමහර දවසට 10 නෙවෙයි 12 හා 1 වෙනකම් ප්‍රැක්ටිසස්. and the, the and the schedule repeats. so uh, sleep time එක ගොඩක් අඩු වෙලා තිබෙනවා ඉතින් සමහර දවස් වල සමහර වෙලාවට i felt like i'm doing over training e wage vela wal walata you have to reflect on it and adu karana ehem unoth mama ken mama mata langadi ground competition ekak nattam tournament ekak nattam man ude ground yana ekak adu karala diyala production ekak lang vela stage stresses yana wana ekata dena vela wedi karanna ehema nattam eka adu karala man anith de walata wedi karala ganna but samahara tan waladi eka ideal naha unhealthy pattern yanawa but we can try as much as possible to keep it to the safe limits hari ma hita ne gana honda idea ek en nathi tawa hanniru wedagat wada yak thamai den ape ape faculty ke lamai gattoth samanya medical faculty ke lamai gattoth extra curricular activities wala nirata wena katti innawa e kenne godak extra curricular karana innawa habai ayyage extra ayya karapu wada tika aran baluwuth en man yan udaharanak kiyannan you have done six research researches uh, there are three current researches and there are two past researches so bio biomechanical analysis of national level sprinters uh, that's one and uh, prevalence patterns and determinants of interactions in patients diagnosed with sle and uh, impact of economic crisis on uh, general population and healthcare system in sri lanka so those were the those are the current researches and there are two past researches motivation challenges and support for uh, dual careers of student athletes of state universities in sri lanka so the evage research godak karala thiyena etakota sports gattoth ehema 110 meter hurdles man kalin kiyowa wage eke national uh, university game record ekak thiyenne ayya ge etakota ara kene karana extra curricular activities tike e tike uparimetama karala thiyena habai ara මම කලින් කිව්වා වගේ සාමාන්‍ය තමන් කරන පොඩි ස්පෝට් එකක් කරනවා නැත්තම් සොසයිටි එක මෙම්බ කෙනෙක් වෙලා ඉන්නවා ඉවෙන්ට් එකක් තිබ්බොත් සින්දු කියනවා අර ඒ ඒ වගේ ඒ ඒ තැනට සීමා වෙන්නේ නැතුව කොහොමද ඒ ටික එක්ස්පෑන්ඩ් කරගත්තේ ඒ කියන්නේ කරන ඇක්ටිවිටි එකේ උපරිමයටම කරන්න අය කොහොමද ඒක ඒක මැනේජ් කරගත්තේ කොහොමද අ මෙහෙම අයතර අර එක්ස්ට්‍රා කරිකියුලර් වේවා ඇකඩමික් වේවා මොන දේ අර පැෂන් එක තියෙනවා නම් and you are really interested you have to target the highest possible you have to target hundred and try karan do ni hundred and try karaddi ara amba gaha gari illai wage ekak kiyana ne ara mamath ekenne me mama try karapu hama dema hari gihilla nevei i have tried i have take lot of chances i have i have, to, I have explored lot of opportunities e wagen kihipayak hari yanna kihipayak ho godak hari yanna puluwa එතකොට මම පැෂනේට් ඒරියා එක ඇතුලේ මේ කියන්නේ එක කියන්නේ මොකක් හරි අවෝඩ් එකක් ගන්න මොකක් හරි රෙකෝඩ් එකකට යන්න කම්පිටිෂන් එකක් බිනන්න කියන එකෙන්ම යන්න ඕනේ නැහැ ඒ ෆීල්ඩ් එක එක්ස්ප්ලෝ කරන්න ඒ ෆීල්ඩ් එකේ බවුන් කියන්නේ බවුන්ඩරිස් එක්ස්පෑන්ඩ් කරගෙන ඒ ෆීල්ඩ් එක තව එක්ස්ප්ලෝ කරන්න තියෙන ආසාව තියෙනවා නම් ඇත්තටම ඒ විදිහට යන්න පුළුවන් ඒකට ඔපෝර්චුනිටිස් නොත් තියෙනවා ඕන තරම් විශේෂයෙන්ම යුනිවර්සිටි එකක් ඇතුලේ opportunities thena man ape faculty ge aita kiyanne kinsi paren ehata yanna giya dan ape faculty ege thena kinsi road ege national hospital ekana but our main university is at tumul so it's uh, there's a incompatibility with university community and medical community in our fact university yeah. ragamat medical faculty ge wenama ne yeah i think yeah that's, uh, that's the same for our faculty also yeah so what i told i what i tell them is there's a world beyond kinsi road go and explore etokota 
are passionate area ke explore karanna karanna you will get opportunities you will see chances then udaharanayak uh, vidiyata me research mama kena me man danata ape faculty ke clinical medicine department ke research assistant ke nek dela wada karanne ara current research deka tunak kiyanne ekat ekta kena mama graduate wada passa karana ewa undergraduate college kara kenne compulsory research එක මම කරේ sports සම්බන්ධ. මම doping drugs ගැන කරේ national athletes ලගින් ඊට පස්සේ අපිට වෙලාව හම්බුණානේ ගොඩක් කියන්නේ covid එක කියන්නේ uh, pandemic එක හින්දා නිවාඩු හම්බුණා තැනින් තැන ඊට පස්සේ මොකද east attack එක හින්දා වෙලා නිවාඩු හම්බුණා මේ breaks වලත් අපිට මොන හරි කරන්න පුළුවන්. මාව හැනෝ නේද? ඔව් ඇනෝ oh <laughs> අර තියෙන සිටුවේෂන් එකත් එක්ක මට කරන්න පුළුවන් දේවල් මම ඇම් ඉන්ටරස්ටඩ් ඉන් රිසර්ච් එතකොට ඒකත් එක්ක මොකක් හරි කරන්න පුළුවන් දෙයක් අලුත් එක්ස්පීරියන්ස් එකක් ගන්න පුළුවන් දෙයක් මගේ ස්කිල්ස් ඩෙවලොප් කරගන්න පුළුවන් දෙයක් ඒ විදිහට එක්ස්ප්ලෝ කරන්න පුළුවන් වෙන්න ඕනේ එතකොට මම මේකට දැන් ඩුවල් කැරියර් කියන කන්සෙප්ට් එක ගත්තේ ඇයි මෙහෙම එකක් කියලා නේද මම යුනිවර්සිටි ඇත්ලීට් කෙනෙක් හිට් යුනිවර්සිටිය ස්පෝර්ට්ස් කරපු කෙනෙක්. එතකොට academic sports balance කරන්නේ කොහොමද? ලංකාවේ university athletes ලා කොච්චරක් motivated ද? ඊළඟට dual career කියන concept එක මම අල්ල ගන්නේ university sports කියන movement එකේ. university sports කියන movement එකත් එක්කත් මම මට වැඩ කරන්න පුළුවන් වෙනවා ඒ ඒ විදියටම ලංකාවේ university sports සම්බන්ධව student ambassador විදියට මම appoint වෙනවා. ඒ ඒකෙන් මම explore කරගන්නවා university sports කියන්නේ නිකන් competitive sports විතරක් නෙවෙයි. university sports කියන එක ඇතුලේ competitions education culture එහෙම areas ගොඩක් තියෙනවා. ඒකට ඒ දේවල් ලංකාවේ ඇතුලේ කොහොමද implement කරගන්නේ? ඒ දේවල් කොහොමද ලංකාවේ පටන් ගන්නේ කියන එකත් එක තමයි මම මේ research පටන් ගන්නේ. එතකොට අර එකිනෙකට එකක් සම්බන්ධ වෙනවා. මම කියන්නේ it's all about passion, right? You know whatever the thing that you are doing you can get into your thing. මට මගේ විදියට හදාගෙන you can do it. අ සෝ මම හිතන ඒ විදියට තමයි ඒ කියන්නේ opportunities. ඔව් අයියා දකින්න විදියට කියන්නේ මොන තව මොනවද අපි කියන්නේ සාමාන්‍ය අපි අපි මොල ඉඳන් පටන් ගමු සම් දැන් කන්න කිසිම මේ විදියට පැෂනේට් නැති ඒ කියන්නේ අපි එහෙම කෙනෙක් ගත්තොත් එහෙම ඒ කෙනෙක්ට මොල ඉඳන් පටන් ගන්නේ දකින්න opportunities ඒ කියන්නේ medical faculty එකක් ඇතුලේ තමන්ගේ career එක explore කරගෙන යන්න දකින්න opportunities මොනවද අයියේ ඔව් මෙහෙමයි මේ කිසිම passion එකක් නැහැ කියලා කෙනෙක් ඉන්න විදියක් නැහැ එයා කැමති මොනවම හරි දෙයක් මොනවම හරි දෙයක් ඒක නැහැ sport එකක් වෙන්න ඕනේ නැහැ ඒක aesthetics singing dancing වෙන්න ඕනේ නැහැ it could be anything it could be volunteering it could be just speaking to people it could be networking even like one of the main the main advantage of engaging in extracurricular activities is the network the network that you create within the university and among the universities may you can mean network ekama it's it's a very uh, satisfying can it, you meet different people you interact with different people you meet different communities can it, make hari can hari lassana me experience ek enakota දැන් කියන්නේ මම ග්‍රවුන්ඩ් එකේදී ඉන්ටරැක්ට් කරන කට්ටියගේ මයින්ඩ් සෙට් එක ඒ ඇටිටියුඩ් සහ ඒ අය එක්ක තියෙන කල්චර් එකට වඩා කම්ප්ලීට්ලි වෙනස් යුනිවර්සිටි එකේ ඒ කියන්නේ ඇකඩමික්ස් වල ලෙක්චර් හෝල් එකේ ඉන්න කට්ටිය ඊට කම්ප්ලීට්ලි වෙනස් ඩාන්සින් ෆ්ලෝ එකේ ඉන්න කට්ටිය එතකොට හැබැයි හැම කට්ටියක්ම හැම ජාතියේම අයත් එක්ක එකතු වෙන එකතු වෙලා වැඩ කරනකොට ඒ වෙන එක්ස්පීරියන්ස් එක ලයික් ඉට්ස් වෙරි සැටිස්ෆයින් ඇන්ඩ් හෙල්ප්ෆුල් Especially to identify, can you minister theorem? Can you minister the value? Can you go home? Me, how many days? Me, who does? Me, no. It's a good samaharun. Can you hear me? Word here, can you international? Can you understand? 
මොන හරි ප්‍රශ්න හක් වෙන්න පුළුවන් මිනිස්සු එක කතා කරන්න වෙන්න පුළුවන් ලෝකෙට හොඳක් කරන්න වෙන්න පුළුවන් මොනම හරි විදියකින් එතකොට වොලන්ටියර් වැඩක් වෙන්න පුළුවන් ප්‍රොඩක්ටිව් මොකක් හරි වෙන්න පුළුවන් එහෙම නැත්නම් මිනිස්සුන්ගේ ආකල්ප වලට කතා කරන දෙයක් වෙන්න පුළුවන් එහෙම මේ ඕන තරම් දේවල් තියෙනවා මෙහෙම ඒ වගේ වැඩ වලට එකතු වෙච්ච කට්ටියක් තියෙනවා දැන් උදාහරණයක් විදියට මම ෆයිනල් ඉයර් එක ළං වෙනකොට වගේ තමයි මේ එකතු වෙන්න පුළුවන් අපි සංවිධානයක් පොඩි හදාගත්ත තියෙනවා මේ යන් ප්‍රොෆෂනල්ස් ඇලයන්ස් ෆෝ හෙල්ත් කියලා සෞඛ්‍ය සඳහා වූ තරුණ වෘත්තිකයන්ගේ සංවිධානය එතකොට ඒකෙන් අපි හෙල්ත් ප්‍රොමෝෂන් රිලේටඩ් වැඩ තමා කරා එහෙම ඒ වගේ මේ ප්‍රොඩක්ටිව් වෙන්න පුළුවන් මට සෙල්ෆ් සැටිස්ෆයිං වෙන්න පුළුවන් මොනවම හරි දෙයක් හොයා ගන්න බැරි නැහැ මෙඩිකල් ෆැකල්ටි ගැතුලත් අනිවාර්යයෙන්ම තියෙනවා ඔයාලගේ ෆ්‍රෙෂර්ස් වෙල්කම් එකක් තියෙනවා ෆ්‍රෙෂර්ස් වෙල්කම් එක අයිටම්ස් ප්ලෑන් කරන්න කවුද ස්ටුඩන්ට්ස් ළමයි පර්ෆෝම් කරන්න කවුද ස්ටුඩන්ට්ස් ළමයි එතකොට ඒ වගේ තැන් වලදී ස්ටුඩන්ට්ස් ලට ඔපෝර්චුනිටි එක තියෙනවා to take the leadership to take the organizer's role to take the performance role a hama deyak me try karanna puluwa there's no harm of trying me you you will not lose anything for trying maybe just little of little bit of time but that you can manage etokota me try karanna karanna thamai you will actually see your true potential opportunities godak godak thiyena i can me ස්කෝල් එකකදි හම්බෙනවට වඩා ෆැසිලිටීස් ගොඩක් යුනිවර්සිටි එක තියෙනවා ෆෝර ෆෝර ඇන් ඇතලීට් ඇයි තින්ක් දිස් ඉස් ඇ සේම් සිටුවේෂන් ෆෝ කැලනියර් ඉන් කොලම්බු දෙ ගිව් එවරිතිං ෆ්‍රොම් ෂූ ෂූස් ටු ස්පයික්ස් ටු ද ට්‍රැක් කිට් ඉවන් යෝ මීල්ස් ට්‍රේනින් දවස් වලට කෑමක් දෙනවා එහෙම ලොට් ඔෆ් කැන් ඉ ෆැසිලිටීස් ගොඩක් තියෙනවා එහෙම ඔපෝර්චුනිටීස් ගොඩක් තියෙනවා Uh, hello um there's a small connection issue i think oh hello sorry me ah yes i ah, yeah. yeah now it's all right yeah. uh so eto kota ara me university ekata avilla medical faculty ekata avilla e mukut try karan nathuwa nikamma yana eka අවුරුදු 5 ඉවර වෙලා නිකන් මෙතන අවුට් වෙලා යන එක ඩොක්ටර් කෙනෙක් වෙන එක ගොඩක් හොඳයි බට් අර චාන්සස් සේරම එකක්වත් ට්‍රයි නොකර අල්ත යන එක හරි අපරාධයක් දෝස් ෆැසිලිටීස් ඇන්ඩ් චාන්සස් ආ දේ ආ ෆෝ යු ටු එක්ස්ප්ලෝ ඇන්ඩ් ටු බී ඉන් හිස් ටි ඉන් ද පොඩි දෙයක් මොනම හරි දැක් ට්‍රයි කරලා බලන්න යු විල් සී ද ඩිෆරන්ස් දැට් යෝ මයින්ඩ් ගෙට්ස් ද සැටිස්ෆැක්ෂන් ද නෙට්වර්ක් දැට් යු ක්‍රියේට් ඒ හැමදේම එක්ක යු විල් ගේන් ලොට් ඔෆ් සොෆ්ට් ස්කිල්ස් for a competent doctor it's not just about the theory and the facts and the management guidelines you have to identify and you have to understand the patient you have to talk with the patient you have to communicate properly and you have to feel the patient etawa me hamade ketaw ara anith hamadeema udah wenna so that's why these extra curricular stuff are there and very important for medical undergraduate yeah uh, so මෙතන තියෙන ලොකුම ප්‍රශ්නය එහෙම වුණොත් දැන් ඒ ඒ කියන්නේ ඒ කරන දේවලුත් එක්ක දැන් අයියා අයියගේ ඇකඩමික්ස් එක හැම දේමත් බැලන්ස් කරගෙන ගියා. එතකොට ඒකත් එක්ක කොහොමද අර දැන් ඇකඩමික් පර්ෆෝමන්ස් වලත් මැක්සිමම් ලෙවල් එකකට එන්නේ. අර ඒකත් එක්ක ඒ දෙක හරියට කොහොමද බැලන්ස් කරගෙන යන්නේ කියලා අපි අන්තිමට පොඩි සමරයිස් කරලා පොඩ්ඩක් කියමු. මොකද මම හිතන්නේ අර කෙනෙක්ට ප්‍රශ්නයක් එන්න පුළුවන් මේ කියන විදිහට අපි හැම ඔපෝර්චුනිටියක්ම යූස් කරොත් එහෙම ඒකෙන් අපේ academics වලට ලොකුවට බලපායිද කියන එක මම කියන්නේ يعني just pass වෙන්න නෙමෙයි එතනින් එහාට academics ඊට වඩා බලාපොරොත්තු වෙන මට්ටමට කරන්න ඒකට බලපෑමක් වෙනවද කොහොමද ඒක හරියට manage කරගන්න අහ් ඔව් මෙහෙමයි extra curricular කරන්න ගියා කියලා academics අමතක කරලා දැම්මොත් එතන ලොකු වුණක් වෙනවා පළවෙනි දේ තමයි you have to keep I mean, always the end only. So how concentration like the end only. First thing is academics. One of them. Like so, carry on. Carry on. Keep that. That's why. I mean, they get them engaged. When they get that, that's why. But academics are parallel. Never. One at one. Parallelly. Me, why extra carry on? One at one. What are they? Co carry on. Carry on. Me, why? One at one. They are. So, what? Me. 
දැන් සමහරු විට හිතෙන්න පුළුවන් ඔය ස්පෝට්ස් කරාම අනිත් දේවල් මගේ හැරෙනවා කියලා අනිත් දේවල් මුකුත් කරගන්න බෑ එක්සත් කරිකුලර්ට ගියා මහන්සි වෙනවා වැඩි ඔළුව වෙනස් වෙනවා එහෙම එකක් නැහැ ඒ දේවල් වලට එන්ගේජ් වෙන්න වෙන්න you can hurry it පිළිවෙලකට කරනවන මට තේරෙනවා මම කොච්චර වෙලාවක් කියන්නේ academics වලට මම කොච්චර ඉම්පෝර්ටන්ස් එකක් දෙන්න ඕනේද කියන එක මොකද අර දේවල් වලට වෙලාව දෙනකොට මගේ වෙලාව අඩුයි කියලා තේරෙනවනේ එතකොට i have to be productive in my work even in academics එතකොට මේ academics අනිවාර්යෙන් කරන්න ඕන ඊළ ඒක තක තමයි මම අර ප්‍රයරිටයිසේෂන් ගැන කතා කරේ කියන්නේ academic වල compulsory exam එකක් නම් තියෙන්නේ you can't give up that you have to do it අර එහෙනම් දැන් මෙහෙම එකක් තිබ්බොත් මට world university games වගේ එකකට මම සිලෙක්ට් වෙලා ඉන්නේ ඒ දවස්වලට මේන් එක්සෑම් එකක් තියෙනවා නම් you have to weigh pros and cons දෙ පැත්තම බලලා කට්ටිය එක කතා කරන්න and you don't have to decide by yourself everything there are people there are support systems in the university that you can get support you can you have to, you can talk to your lecturers you can talk to even your dean there are student counselors there are physical education department එහෙනම් උදව් කරන්න පුළුවන් නම් ඉන්නවා යලත් එක්ක කතා කරන්න පුළුවන් you have your seniors ඒ හැමෝම එක්ක කතා කරලා තමයි කරලා ඒ වගේ ඩිසිෂන්ස් වලට එන්න පුළුවන් සමහර වෙලාවට academic staff එක ගොඩක් සපෝටිව් කියන්නේ අපි හිතන්නේ නැති විදිහට සපෝටිව් වෙන උදාහරණයකට දැන් මම ප්‍රොෆෙසෝරියල් ඇපොයින්ට්මන්ට්ස් කරද්දි තමයි කොන්ෆරන්ස් එකට යන්න තිබේ ෆ්‍රාන්ස් වල ඔලිම්පික් කමිටික් මේ වර්ල්ඩ් කොන්ෆරන්ස් එක ස්පෝට්ස් මැනේජ්මන්ට් වල එතකොට දැන් ක්ලිනිකල්ස් නේ ප්‍රොෆෙසෝරියල් ක්ලිනිකල්ස් කියද්දි 100% ඇටෙන්ඩන්ස් වගේ නේ you can't miss a day it costs a lot but can mama gila department head kata kara mama gila dean ta kata kara dean sa ta kata kara and then they understand the situation and kisi prashnayak na prashnayak na kiyanne mama ude hawasa gihilla sundays wala gihilla dawas tika kawa karana conference ekey dawas hatara free karagena oh mari kiya ehema una kiyala me appointment ekata prashnayak unet na mama kara mage me කන්ටෙන්ට් එකකට ප්‍රශ්නයක් වුණෙත් නෑ මම ඒ ටිකත් කවර් කරගත්තා ගිහිල්ලා මම කොන්ෆරන්ස් එකත් පාටිසිපේට් කළා රිසර්ච් ෆයින්ඩිස් පර්සන් කළා එහෙම මම ඇවිල්ලා ඊළඟ රටට ළඟ ආපහු ක්ලිනිකල් ගියා එතකොට ඒ කියන්නේ අර ජස්ටිෆයි කරන්න පුළුවන් දේවල් වලදී අකඩමික් ස්ටාෆ් එක එහෙම මේ හැම වෙලේම අපිට විරුද්ධමයි ඉන්නේ වගේ එකක් නැහැ they are there to help you they are there to guide you එතකොට you just have to talk you just have to rationally talk එතකොට අර මං කලි කලකට අර කමියුනිටිස් යුනිටිස් එක ඇතුලේ ඉන්න එක එක අයා එක කතා කරන يعني ඩී ගන්නත් වෙනවා කියලා. එතන එකක් තමයි يعني අපිට උඩ ලෙවල් වල කට්ටිය. අකඩමික් ස්ටාෆ් වෙන්න පුළුවන්, වෙන සපෝටිව් අය වෙන්න පුළුවන්. ඊළඟට අපේ ලෙවල් එකේ ආයෙකුත් ප්‍රශ්න තියෙනවා. කලීග්ස් ලා, ෆ්‍රෙන්ඩ්ස් ලා, يعني බැච් එකේ ළමයි ඉන්නුත් we know the thing called peer pressure නේ. සමහර දේවල් වලට peer pressure එක තියෙනවා. නැත්තේ නැහැ. يعني අකඩමික් වැඩක් වෙන්න පුළුවන්, නැත්තම් ට්‍රිප් එකක් යන එකක් වෙන්න පුළුවන්. ඊටත් එහා වෙන මොන හරි වෙන්න පුළුවන් මේ appointment එක කරලා party දාන්නේ කොහොමද කියලා වෙන්න පුළුවන් ඒ වගේ දේවල් වලට peer pressure තියෙනවා ඒ වගේ දේවල් manage කරන්න පුළුවන් වෙන්න ඕනේ කියන්නේ මට ඕනේ නැත්තම් මම ඒවට යන්නේ නැහැ මම කාගෙවත් කවුරුවත් කියන එකට ඇඳෙන්න ඕනේ නැහැ මේ කියන්නේ ළඟම යාළුව කෙන්න පුළුවන් රුම වෙන්න පුළුවන් දැන් අර කියන්නේ හරිටම අපිට productive දේ ට support කරන්නේ කවුද මේ මගේ ගෝල් එකට යන්න උදව්වක් වෙන්නේ කවුද කියන එක ඉඩෙන්ටිෆයි කරගන්න පුළුවන් මැනේජ් කරන්න පුළුවන්. එතකොට පියර්ස් ලත් එක්ක කතා කරන විදිය ඩීල් කරන විදිය නෙවෙයි ඇකඩමික්ස් ලත් එක්ක ඩීල් කරා. ඒකට යාළත් එක්ක කතා කරලා මේ දේවල් ගොඩ දාගන්න පුළුවන්. එහෙම බැරි නැහැ. මම يعني මම ටුවර්ස් يعني යුනිවර්සිටි කීදී තුනක් හතරක් ගියා. يعني ඉවල් යුනිවර්සිටි කීදී වලට ගියා. ඊළඟට ස්ටුඩන්ට් එම්බසර විදියට මට යුනිවර්සිටි කොන්ෆරන්ස් එකට ෆ්‍රාන්ස් යන්න ෆුල් අමවුන්ට් එක යුනිවර්සිටි එකෙන් පන් කරනවා ඊට පස්සේ මගේ තව රිසර්ච් එකක් ඇක්සෙප්ට් වුණා යුනිවර්සිටි ස්පෝර්ට්ස් ෆෙඩරේෂන් එකේ කොන්ෆරන්ස් එකට එක ස්විට්සර්ලන්ඩ් වල ඒකට යන්න උනේ නැහැ පැන්ඩමික් එක හින්දා බට් ඒකත් ෆුලි ෆන් කරනවා යුනිවර්සිටි එකේ කියන්නේ මේ යුනිවර්සිටි එකට සල්ලි වැඩීමත් නෙවෙයි if you can justify your requirement if you can talk to people properly can achievement එක මේක මේකින් වෙන්නේ මේක ඇයි මම මේකට යන්න ඕනේ කියන එකත් එක්ක then they support you 
they are there to guide you and help you ehinda ehema bari na ara hama welema nikan academics la saha apita uda level ekeya nikan apiwa pa ganna balak inna wage mindset ekak mata in kan ehema ekak na that's stupid me etawata e wage me katha karna vidhi deal karna vidhi hama dema ekka thamai me hama den build wenne nikan mama hitiya kiya mata mukut labenna ha कॉन्फ्रेंस का तीन ना मगे अब्स्ट्रैक्ट का एक्सेप्ट तो ना किया ना निकाम मीडिया दे इकट्ठे आने दे ये तो फास्ट सेट इकट्ठे में बैठ कर हम दिन आओगे ना सो लाइक इट्स लॉट ऑफ वर्क बट एट यू कैन गो या आई थिंक वी गोट एन ओवरऑल आइडिया अबाउट दैट हाउ टू बैलेंस थिंग्स सो आई थिंक वी आर रनिंग आउट ऑफ टाइम सो वी हैव कम टू बी end of our discussion so we kindly request uh, you can uh, put your questions if you have any questions you can uh, put in the comment uh, comment section so uh, we can uh, forward that question to akila aya and uh, hope we can uh, answer to few questions uh, so since we have come to the end uh, actually the end of the uh, discussion so uh, do you have uh, any uh, failures in your life so have you never failed or how you manage this um behema if you are asking for about academics mama can exams lang ekak pat fail vela naha but there are instances that i can consider as failures samahara tan tiyena me kiyanne mama mama captain university team e captain karapu avurudde mama mage event eke heat eke kiyanne heat eke first round eke de mama record ekak tiyena kiyanne 110 hurdles vela रेकॉर्ड एक दुवला फाइनल इके दी मम्मे बैठे ना हर लेकिन पहले लेकिन बैठे ना नगीटी ना दुवे ना आप हो बैठे ना नगीटी ना दुनो आप हो बैठे ना तुम बारा किधर बैठे ना मटी इवेंट का कंप्लीट करने में मम्मे डिस्कोली पर तो वोड़ा ए आर उधे आपे कलम्बो यूनिवर्सिटी एक थर्ड वेन में लाखों नो लकुन तूना हाथ रखी मामा मागे इवेंट का तुम्हें थर्ड वेला दिन बाद वी गुड़ा बीट जा पड़ा ये तो कुछ एक एन मामा मागे रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी का अक्तिया ना मामा कैप्टन करो बाहर उधर का हिम वे ना बट दे इधर से दहाड़ है इलाके दहाड़ दहाना में अभी जा पड़ा था कहना क्या ना अभी कोमारी है ना बट यू हैव � ඒ දේවල් කරෙක්ට් කර ගන්න පුළුවන් කියලා බලන්න ඕනේ එහෙම යන්න පුළුවන් එහෙම නැත්තම් you can explore another dimension ඊළඟ උදාහරණය 2019 මේ අවුරුද්දේ world university games වලට trial එකට යද්දී මගේ hamstrings වල injury එකක් මට දුව ගන්න බෑ ඒතර මම සිලෙක්ට් වෙන්නේ නැහැ හැබැයි ඒත් එක්කම තමයි මම advertisement එකක් දැක්කනේ අපි තේබු notice එකක් දැකලා apply කරන්න අර uni sports සම්බන්ධ වස්තුන් සිලෙක්ට් වෙනවා ලංකාවේ university sports ambassador එකට and then i get the chance to go to russia and work with international university sports federation so ra ekak fail una kiyala etenin athari ne naha ekko we have to can analyze the failure and get the things corrected or you you can explore another dimension hema devan walata yanna bulu yeah okay uh api den conversation ekak antima hari eda thamai illa thiyena ithara ayata mona hari awasana awasana washin mona hari kiyanna thiyena oda Uh, have you encourage uh, your fellow brothers and sisters as a senior so what do you have to say uh, so yeah the, the the only thing that i have, I have to tell the university doesn't matter if it is med school or art science faculty the university has ample amount of or the agilchara asura hold panena kine kaansa wana kedikena Uh, so there are ample amount of opportunities in whatever the field that you are passionate about so just explore at least one don't let can nikamma atarla yanne pa aparade medical student kenek una kiyala ehema can e mukut nokara nikamma academics vitara karanna one kiyala hak naha me trap eke boundary set karanne api मगे बाउंड्रीज मामले ना वाके बाउंड्रीज पे आ, so can you expand your boundaries and explore lot of opportunities? There's a huge world beyond uh, beyond Kinsey Road for Colombo, 
So, in the explore karan, opportunities try karan, try karan gila mukut pendi na. Karen, hanya pendi na, you will get at least the experience of trying. Yeah. Uh, so there's a question uh, uh, that was, I think, about uh, relationships. Uh, how to balance relationships with all these things? I don't know what relationships are, but yeah. Huh. So relationships, too, I think. Yeah. I think I mean, could be within friends, with with family, uh, or. Uh, Intimate relationship. I have not pulled up. A cut, with a quarter sock. That you have to have it. Friends, Yalu Kavanapulang, Gedarai Kavanapulang, intimate connect Vendapula. May relationships not can marvel a monk can can magage with it, a magay valuable to the work when a vidiat, productive with it, the yagan, no thou in a vidiat. Relationship a cut, balance Karanapulang, relationship a cutter, Bilava, Karanapulu and the key nigger. So how much your understanding with you? Mama, I can you relationship? If you are going to put understand, can you say I am a understand? Can you? Get there, I have take family functions. Well, today I need to go home. Then get there, that was key. I can never believe that. Yeah, you take it. I need to go home. Then, even our vidyat samay privatized window. Ne, I need better take them. Take a bit of a different. I need better share. I'm not worried. Then, then girlfriend, can you boyfriend, can you? Inna ma kiela, mulu daose me agya teeri la. Inna ma kiena ka mood better. There are a lot of stuff that you can do. You can talk to them. You can get support. You can support each, each other. No. Uh, my डिस्कशन we can give you five more minutes one to two minutes uh, to ask your questions if not uh, we can uh, conclude the session yeah i think uh, yeah there are there are no questions it seems so uh, i cordially invite uh, professor parnitharan uh, parni uh, parni singham uh, the chair of uh, student affairs division uh, for the word of thanks so thank you very much nil uh, pool you have done a wonderful job and uh, thank you for the presence uh, uh, <clears throat> dr akila anila veera I, i really appreciate you are a really talented guy i i i'm i'm very much impressed and you have set an example for our students you know who may wonder how to balance life and how to excel in uh, studies as well as sports you are a classic example so thank you very much for accepting the invitation and to be a part of our webinar series uh, we are you know we are striving our best to make our students uh, to excel both in uh, ac academics as well as in sports so thank you very much once again and all the participants please have a nice day nice night uh, still it will be early to go to sleep and uh, i want to thank our dean uh, professor janake was he was uh, very much you know was the pioneer was the brain behind this uh, division and the activities and uh, and dr manuja pereira who was uh, kind of working hard behind the scenes and put you on this uh, uh, you know connect with us and she was very much upfront that the students must uh, you know participate and uh, they should do all these and uh, so thank you very much and nilpu you have done a wonderful job 
and uh, thanks again for all those participants and thank you very much okay yeah uh, thank you very much Mostly sir welcome, so sir. with that yeah welcome sir so uh, uh, we'll meet with the next uh, webinar the third, third webinar of the webinar series organized by uh, student affair division and along with the aura media the media society so wish you a very good night thank you